Hi there, uh, welcome to CBH Passion. I hope you all are fine. Today, uh, we are going to see what's there for a JavaScript developer uh, in VS 2017. As you all know, VS 2017 has landed in the market just a few weeks ago. I hope you grabbed your copy and started doing something in VS, VS 2017. In this video, we are going to see uh, uh, some quite a new features available in VS 2017 for a JavaScript developer. Uh, this is the agenda for this video, uh, language, service and advanced JavaScript and lessons, added ECMAScript 6 features, introduction to JS talk and uh, a web essential 2017. So I had created some demo for this, uh, let's just uh, dive into that. This is uh, just a sample ASP.NET Core, Core application. Uh, if you have already created a Core uh, ASP.NET Core application, you may be familiar with the folder structures shown here. Here I have a dub 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 root, and as we are going to discuss about JavaScript features, I'm just directly dive into the JS folder, and uh, this is my site.js. As you can see, I have just uh, created a class and uh, a document.ready function. In the library, we have already have the instance of jQuery. So, the moment when you type dollar, Visual Studio uh, 2017 will analyze the jQuery components and the methods available. So when you type $.ajax, it's giving you the uh, completion box like Ajax, Ajax Prefiller and so on. But what matters is it, it always, it always uh, gives the tooltip like uh, what all the parameters for that function should be. These uh, features were not available in uh, prior version of VS. So here we are getting a tooltip information like jQuery static Ajax settings. It acts. Uh, it actually expecting a parameter like jQuery Ajax settings, right? So the, uh, let's just go and create an Ajax function. So this is a normal Ajax function. I am not giving any parameter here. Just for the demo, I am creating a function. If you just right click and go to definition of this function. You can see it actually uh, that a tooltip and the metadata information is coming from the fun from the file called index.d.ts. It's actually a TypeScript decoration file which contains these kind of tooltip and metadata information. I can say this uh, entire file is driven by the community members. There are thousands of people are working in this file so as you can see the line number uh, it has uh, more than uh, near, somewhat near to 4000 lines of code so here uh, we have ajax metadata information here and if you really see uh, these files this file is not included in your project. Anywhere you can't find your find this file in your project. So actually where it is saved is just right click and open containing folder. It actually saved in app data local. So uh, my VS 2017 team doesn't want uh, pollute your project by including these kind of metadata files that is decoration files which may be uh, somewhat huge in size so uh, we don't need to manually worry about this metadata information file that is decoration file vs 2017 uh, team has already placed this in a secure location like app data if you delete that file from the app data and you will not will not be able to see this metadata information at all so, so now I'm just going to close. So these uh, tooltip informations is coming informations are coming from the that uh, from that decoration file. 
and you can always go for the get JSON. You will get the information for that method too. All the all the informations are coming from this, from the uh, from that decoration file. Okay. So in VS 2017, uh, team has added uh, ECMAScript 6 features in it. So uh, if you are working with e, uh, VS 2017, you will have the provision to add ECMAScript features like class and using LET variable. Those features are always available in VS 2017. As you can see, uh, here I have just created a class and this is my constructor. This is my method, right? So I'll go and run this application for you. Just a minute. So uh, when you run your application, you will get this uh, message. This is what we are uh, doing from that code. Let's go and check it out. So in the document already, uh, we are just uh, creating an object of this class and we are just calling this event, right? Okay, now uh, few few years back, uh, documenting a JavaScript functions uh, were uh, quite not easy because uh, we were using VS Doc for this kind of documentation. But most of the developer uh, will not be able to uh, do that as they thought it's not that needed because they didn't have much provision for that. But with the help of VS 2017, uh, we can easily create our documentation for JavaScript functions and classes. Uh, in, the, in VS 2017, VS doc has been replaced with the JS doc. Uh, I'm just going to this class and creating a JS doc for this constructor. By pressing the slash and double star, you will see a JS doc has been created for this constructor. So uh, for this class, I can just say my class constructor which accepts it as parameter. Okay. The moment you save this JS doc and when you go and try to create My class, you will get an information like my class constructor which accepts state string as parameter. Now, here we have given any as the parameter type. You can always give the parameter type as string. Please be noted that you are getting a completion list box here. You can always give string number. As of now, I'm just going to create a string type save it again now uh, dt today is string this kind of information we can always provide with the uh, with the help of js rock in vs 2017 so documenting a javascript function is uh, now been easy than this right okay Mm -hmm. 
now a uh, few a uh, few of the browser uh, will not support most of the i mean uh, some of the uh, features of the this e ecma script 6 but in vs 2017 with the help of a tool we can always convert our es6 codes to es5 which uh, completely work in all kind of browsers so uh, for that i'm just going to go and stop this application and go to tools uh, you the first thing you may be noticed is uh, the extension and updates menu has been uh, put forward to the top so just click on that go to online type web essential you will get it just uh, click and install that uh, in my machine i have already installed it so just close it now if you already installed vs uh, i mean web essential in, v in your vs 2017 you will get a provision like when you, when you right click your js file you will get a direct option for uh, for option called transpile to javascript what this option will do is it pretty much forward uh, it will just convert all of your es6 codes to es5 let's just go and do that the moment you click this you will get a config file where you need to do some settings on all compile on save true and output file is bundle.js files is in uh, www.jsi.js in now uh, in my application i have just only one file so this is the settings you may need to give actually and in www.js folder one bundle.js file is already created for you so let's just go and open it as you can see all of all of our code es6 code has been converted to es5 right this will work in almost all the browsers now what you want to do is just go to views go to shared sorry layout just change the reference of site.js of course you will always get the intelligence here bundle.js Now, I'm going to go and create a uh, change something in this JS file. Yes, 2017, and I'm going to go and save. Now, if you go to the bundle.js, it has been changed to what? What are the things I have changed, right? So, Whenever you save something in site.js, it will just reflect in the bundle.js. Now, if you run your application, it will actually fetch the information from the bundle.js, not from the site.js. So that you will have the provision to make your application to work with all kind of browsers. This is the transpile.js. Now, other thing I wanted to show you is, uh, I'll just go to tools and option again search for the web browser reload on save make it true when enabled every time a file is saved the connect save the connected browser will reload okay click ok now uh, let's go and run our application You got an output like this and I'm going to go and change something again. To work with this feature you may need to change uh, your site.js file again as uh, when running uh, this file is not actually 
the changes what we have we are doing in sign.js is not reflecting in bundle.js when it is in running position so uh, as of now I, I have just changed it to change uh, the reference of site.js in uh, layout.cshtml now i'm gonna go and run our application again Now we can change this text. Webinar about Visual Studio 2017. I'm gonna go and click save. It changed, right? So uh, with the help of Web Essential, we can do this kind of stuff in uh, VS 2017. I hope you like this video uh, you found it information informational I think so uh, please do subscribe if you can uh, thank you so much for watching